I got it. I got it. Alright guys, I worked really hard on this. I need A in this one. So shut the fuck up! <laughs> Another thing, uh, if you see two, two people fighting with me, my parents, and they're showing you uh, naked baby pics of me, just, just turn them away. Okay, mom, dad, how am I supposed to hit on people when they already know how big my dick is? <laughs> so, spring is finally sprung here in Kirksville. How about that, guys? Gotta tell you, terrible fucking statement. Somebody comes up to me and says that, I'm looking over my shoulder, I'm afraid I'm gonna get raped by spring. I mean, I don't go around to people and describe, hey man, it's like winter really kicked you in the fall, it's turned your wallet. <laughs> now, spring's got a lot of nice things. The weather's getting nicer, so, uh, you know, I go out and I take walks. I don't own a car, so I have to walk everywhere. And the other day I walked over to Pickler's Famous over on the square. How many people have been there? You know, they're doing that whole old school soda fountain thing. And I like it. I'm just surprised it's here in Kirkson. Because you know, I always thought that here, the fraternities have a monopoly on putting stuff in people's dreams. Maybe I'm just confused. Maybe I just don't understand it. There's a lot of things I don't understand. Politics is another thing, all right? We live in a great fucking nation. We gave them all airplanes. We gave them all McDonald's. We fucking gave them all Rebecca Black's hit single Friday. Yeah. But somehow, our political system is boring. Just awful. You know, it is times like these that we need to actually listen to the Middle East, okay? When they fucking want to get somebody out of office, they do it right. Party in the street. Light shit on fire and beat the crap out of Anderson Cooper on live TV. <laughs> Seriously, the last time we even tried to get rid of our president, the only thing I walked away knowing is that if I want to be president, I better not like getting blowjobs. <laughs> you know what? This is why I'm never going to have a gay president. <laughs> now, maybe my expect expectations are too damn high for this country. Keep in mind, these are the same people who last year took away our fucking four loco. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Those people didn't deserve to have their invention taken away. They deserve the Nobel Prize for that shit. You give a girl one of those, suddenly my baby dick is looking like Shaq's dick. <laughs> now, people will tell you, oh, it's too dangerous for kids to have. You know what? Guns are fucking dangerous too. The last time I checked, any racist, sexist, homophobic asshole in this nation can get a fucking assault rifle if he wants it. You know what, Obama? Yeah. It's about time to stop worrying about what I'm drinking. Worry about the people who are shooting each other in this fucking country. Now, earlier, earlier I mentioned that I don't have a car. And it sucks. I really like cars. I think they're amazing. You know, cars from different countries reflect the culture they come from. Italian cars, the big works of art. Big, beautiful, fast. German cars, efficient. Japan, you should see the stuff they're kicking out of Japan now. It floats and it glows in the dark. Now, speaking of natural disasters, how many people know that the world's ending next year? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, the Mayan calendar runs out December 21st, 2012. The world ends that day. This is a really sound theory, except for the fact that when my calendar is running out, I dump it in the fucking trash can and go down to Borders to buy a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, there's nothing apocalyptic about that unless I stop making my Lisa French furry kitten calendars. <laughs> you know, I don't understand why even taking advice from a group of people who's only contribution to our culture today is tequila. Seriously, the only thing I know those feather-haired bastards at this point are a few nights for blacked out and peeing my pants. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you enjoyed that Spanish conquest. <laughs> now, at this point, a lot of the ladies, a few of the guys, I want to know what my situation be up here. And I'll tell you, I'm in a relationship. Oh. And I'm surprised too, okay? I'm not going wrong. Because I'm really bad at dating. But you know what? It's gotten so much easier now that I'm in college. Because it seems that everybody I meet is on the pill. 
<laughs> I'm not talking about birth control. I'm talking about roofies. <laughs> Ladies, drinks are 